All right, back for more. So this is a um, something I wanted to do uh, for a while. This is a traffic light timer, and I had built one back in uh, May of this year. And at that time, I had built the entire thing out of uh, logic circuits. There was uh, 19 circuits in my chip or in my um, schematic. And, uh, but I knew that, you know, where I was going was to work with, uh, microprocessors. And so I thought it'd be fun to one day, you know, build the same thing, but just using the microprocessor to do all the work. And so I've been learning, uh, MP Lab X and assembler and, um, uh, specifically this chip, which is the P16F84A. Uh, and I gotta say, the, the, the reasons that you would want to work in assembler versus <laughs> uh, logic gates is obvious. It is so much easier just to write code, you know, turn this thing on, turn this thing off, turn this thing on, turn this thing off. It's just uh, amazing. It's no wonder that the logic gates, you know, are becoming more and more obsolete. Um, so this circuit uh, actually has, I count, six chips, but three of them are actually just resistor packs. So if you took the resistor packs out, there are actually only three chips in here, the microprocessor, and then down here are two 4511 decoders for the seven segment display. Uh, and I sort of have kept the same complexity that I had in the last circuit, but I've added, let's see if it'll go off here, like, um, kind of like a walk timer if you have, um, you know, like a crosswalk. There we go. We're at nine, eight, seven, six, five. And then when it gets down to zero, this thing's going to go yellow. And then it'll hold on the reds for two seconds. And then it'll go green to the side light, and then that goes off. Uh, really easy to code that. Um, I will say working in MP Lab X is a bitch, and it uh, the, the learning curve there is steep. <laughs> but uh, I've had a lot of help from um, uh, the members of the EDA board, and a special shout out needs to go out to WP. 100 who has helped me immensely in um in you know navigating the many many pitfalls that one discovers while working in mp lab x and with these chips so i do hope to one day uh post a a uh tutorial on how i got my program onto the chip and uh but i need to be a little bit more confident with the um ide so that is still to come. Um, so that's about it. There you go. Thanks.